What Einstein did in 1905 is actually ponder the nature of light. In fact, even before that, when he was only 16 years old, he came up with this thought experiment. He said, what if I'm flying at the speed of light and holding a mirror in front of my face? Would I see my reflection? Because to see your reflection, light has to bounce off your face into the mirror and back into your eyes again. But if you yourself are moving at the speed of light, can the light actually overtake your face and move towards the mirror? And in 1905, he realized the answer. Yes, he would see his reflection. Because it turns out that light moves at the same speed, no matter how fast the observer is moving. OK, that's a lot to get your head around. But basically what Einstein is saying is, if the speed of light is constant, which it is, then time becomes elastic. Time can slow down or speed up, depending on how fast you're traveling. And how does this allow you to see into the future? Well, that's the easy bit. In fact, it's so simple that a child could explain it. Here are my friends, Alice and Bob. So one day, Alice decides to go on holiday. So she gets in her super duper fast, really, really fast plane and flies at 99.9% of the speed of light for 50 light years to our five-star hotel in a faraway galaxy. Meanwhile, Bob is going at the normal speed of Earth and is slowly growing older until he's put into an old age home. Meanwhile, Alice comes back and in space it's been going really, really slow because she's going really, really fast. So she's only aged by six months. So when she arrives back, realises that Bob unfortunately passed away. That's the theory of Einstein. How about that? And he's absolutely right. If you put a clock in a rocket or even a jet aircraft, fly it around and bring it back again, it will sh show an earlier time than the identical clock that was initially synchronised with it on Earth. Time runs more slowly, and so less time elapses for moving clocks. And the closer you get to the speed of light, the more impressive this difference becomes. So every time you take a plane ride, you have in fact travelled into the future, just not very far into the future.